Hello everyone! Today we are going to talk about how to capture good zoomable waveforms in a PICO 2204A oscilloscope. This oscilloscope has a small buffer, only 8000 samples, and is an 8-bit uh, oscilloscope, so we have to be careful about our settings. So let's begin. I have a PicoScope program uh, started, and I have a, a signal generator uh, supplying voltage to the channel A. Um, the signal that I'm using is sort of uh, reproducing an ignition uh, pattern and uh, I'm running it at 100 Hz. And so what do we see on the oscilloscope? Well, with the, this time base we cannot really see anything. So let's go to 1 millisecond per division and we can see our signal, we can put a trigger so we can uh, focus on that particular waveform. One thing that we can see is that it's relatively small compared to the size of the screen. It's only one volt when the resolution is five volts. So if we stop the capture and try to zoom in on this waveform, we are going to see a lot of steps uh, along the waveform. And this is the result of the 8-bit resolution of the oscilloscope. We could try to do some uh, smoothing, for example, effectively use 10-bit uh, smoothing, but it's not optimal. The best way to uh, deal with that is to choose the proper vertical range and instead of plus minus 5 volts use plus minus 1 volt and capture the uh, pattern again. So we can see now that we have a much better waveform and we pretty much don't need any zoom because it uh, occupies almost all of the screen and it looks perfectly even if we use 8-bit resolution. So the first lesson is we need to have a proper voltage range set up for our signal. Okay, so that's about the uh, vertical range, but now what about horizontal range? So what uh, right now we are sampling at uh, one millisecond per division, uh, but what is the sample rate that is used by this oscilloscope? And to know that we need to go to view properties and uh, look at the properties dialog that uh, gives us exactly that information. And actually I recommend having the properties dialog open at all times so that we can always check that we are using the proper settings. And so what we have now is we have a sample rate being 781 kilosamples per second which is a good number and this is exactly the number that allows us to capture a very detailed uh, waveform. Note that it means that the sample interval is 1.3 microseconds and thus uh, in the 10 millisecond screen time it is able to collect just under 8000 samples. Now what happens if we actually use not just one channel but two channels. So let's enable channel B. So now we have two channels and we immediately see that our sample rate got cut in half. It's now 390 kilosamples. And each channel is collecting about 4000 samples. So if we activated another channel we lose precision. So one a uh, lesson from that is not to activate another channel if you don't have to.
So now, what happens if we don't really know what our signal is and first try to use a larger time, time base and so for example let's take a look and uh, see what happens when we use 100 millisecond per division. Uh, we have a screen with something and we really don't see what's happening so we'll have to go and zoom inside but what are we going to get? We are looking at the properties dialog and it says that we are actually sampling only at 6 kilosamples per second so we cannot really expect good results. Now let's take a look and yeah we have the waveform that is not very detailed at all so it's you know just a bunch of uh, uh, points connected by lines so what exactly happened and well in our case what happened is that at 100 milliseconds per division the oscilloscope is using something called blocked uh, mode and in this mode it does the following it uh, collects 8000 samples and sends them to the uh, computer by the USB cable and then it does this again and again but the problem happens is that only 8000 points are on or was on the screen and if you zoom into that screen you are going to lose the horizontal uh, resolution. Is there anything we can do about it? And it turns out we can. Uh, the oscilloscope also has another mode called the streaming mode and uh, it's enabled for 200 millisecond per division and up on this particular oscilloscope. If uh, you're trying other oscilloscopes they might be using different settings. So let's uh, try to use uh, 200 milliseconds per division and see what happens. Okay, so 200 milliseconds per division and let's uh, run again. So we have uh, the screen filled in. Let's stop it. And what we see here now is our sample rate is 7.5 kilosamples per second. And thus we collected 15,000 samples. This is bigger than the oscilloscope buffer. So what exactly happened? It actually started str streaming and sent us everything it was seeing uh, right away S but uh, we do get only 7.5 kilo samples per second that's not good the reason for that is actually this setting the number of samples here we have to increase this value so we can uh, go let's say all the way to 100 mega samples it will automatically cut it down as it uh, uh, sees fit. Let's redo the experiment. Now we have a screen filled in very nicely and look at this. The sample rate is now one mega sample per second with the sample interval only one microsecond and it collected two thousand uh, sorry two million samples. If we zoom in now we should see a really good pattern because it has been collected at one mega sample per second. Ah, just a second. This screen is getting in the way. And so it's a very nice waveform. Uh, we can still use some smoothing because we do have some uh, vertical resolution uh, 
uh, juggle, but overall it is what uh, we would expect to have at one mega sample per second sampling. And we are getting it continuously streaming. And the same thing we would get if we try 500 milliseconds or one second or two seconds or up all the way up to 10 seconds per division. We will still get one mega sample per second. So let's just uh, uh, try that. So it just fills the whole screen, lots of samples, all the way up to the memory of your computer. And that's actually one important thing is if you want to use this mode uh, without any issues, you have to make sure that you have your USB cable connected directly to your computer, no USB hubs, no other tasks uh, with USB that your computer is doing. And you have to make sure that you have enough memory to capture that much information. So once you did the collection of that, you can zoom in and you will see exactly that pattern collected at one mega sample per second. It's like magic. So that's what happened. We had a uh, one mega sample per second sample rate uh, when we were using one channel. Uh, and we've seen that uh, if we were using blocked mode uh, with a time base 100 milliseconds per division or less, we had the sample rate cut in half if we were trying to use two channels. But what does happen with the uh, two channel in the streaming mode. So if we are using 10 seconds per division and enable another channel and run the uh, oscilloscope in the streaming mode, we will immediately see that we are using 500 kilo samples per second. So we did have the same effect. But it actually only happens at 10 seconds per division. If you are using 5 seconds per division, it's uh, still going to sample at 1 mega samples per second. So just like here. So what it uh, means is that we can still use two channels in the streaming mode and get sample rate of one mega sample per second if you are using anywhere between 200 millisecond per division to five seconds per division time basis. So good to know. And so if you are starting with a signal just to see what it is, you can use something like one second per division that will give you a 10 second screen and you will see what the uh, your signal is and you can easily zoom in and see what how it looks like and maybe then when you get a sense of how uh, what frequency it is and uh, what is its voltage range then you can switch to a shorter time base set up a trigger and do some other experiment. But important thing is not to get yourself in a trap where you are using improper voltage range or you're using something like 100 millisecond per division where the oscilloscope will be in blocked mode and you wouldn't be able to zoom in properly. Avoid the bad waveforms by forcing your oscilloscope to use a streaming mode which is something that you would be using 200 milliseconds per division all the way up to 5 or 10 seconds per division and do not forget about this number of sample setting you really want to make it as big as your computer allows